Hello students, welcome to VAS Certification Quota. In this series of NCRT discussion, we are moving on to the next exercise of the chapter determinants from class 12th NCRT. Right? We will be discussing exercise 4.2 now. Let's move on to the first question and using, using the property of determinants and without expanding in exercises 1 to 7, we have to prove that this is equal to 0. We have to use the properties of determinants, mind you. And what are the, the properties of determinants? There are a lot of properties of determinants. I hope you have gone through those properties. And let's see how we use those properties to uh, prove that this LHS is equal to this value of determinant is equal to 0. Right? We have to prove that. Okay. So let's begin with this first question. The question says that you have x, y, z, a, b, c. And then you have some of these two. Okay. That's pretty interesting. So... Observe, observe that in the LHS, you have this determinant x, y, z, a, b, c, x plus a, y plus b, z plus c. If you observe that this particular column is nothing but the sum of these two columns, sum of corresponding elements of these two columns, right? If I, prob if I think of replacing c1 by c1 plus c2 now what will that give us this will make this particular column same as this column yes and if two columns or two rows are exactly same then the value of determinant is zero yes the value of determinant is zero and on the basis of this we can prove this so c1 is replaced by c1 plus c2 this is an operation which we are performing on this the value of determinant will remain same yes this will be equal to this x plus a y plus b z plus c and then you have a b c this is already x plus a y plus b z plus c okay and since since c1 and c3 are same since c1 and c3 columns are exactly same therefore value of determinant will be yes value of determinant will be zero Yes. So therefore, LHS is equal to 0, which is equal to the RHS, hence proved. That's what we are started with proving, right? That's what we wanted to prove. We have proved that. Could we have used any other approach or any other idea? No. Idea is similar only. What you can do is you can replace this C3 by C3 minus C2. C3 minus C2, right? What you get is XYZ in this. There's XYZ over there. Two columns, if they have the exact same elements, the value of determinant will be 0. The same idea will be used in that case as well. Right? Another idea that you could have used was, another idea that could have used was, alternate approach that you could have used would look like something like this. That you can replace maybe C3 by C1, C3 minus C1 minus C2. Ooh you're subtracting both of them at the same time yes i'm subtracting both of them on at the same time and in this case the lhs will be equal to what the lhs will be equal to x y z which is okay this is a b c which is also okay but x plus a minus x and minus a will be simply zero and zero and zero over here and if all elements in a particular column or all elements in a particular row are zero then the value of determinant is zero again that's equal to the RHS. That's another way of dealing with the same thing. What we have done is exactly same and we're getting the exact same result, right? That's a complete proof of this question. Let's move on to the next one after this. Using property of determinant, we have to prove that this determinant is equal to zero. Now, how do we go about proving this? Let's take a look at this question. So what do we have? We have A minus B, B minus C, C minus C, B minus C, C minus A minus B. Okay, A minus B, B minus C, C minus A. If you observe carefully, if you observe carefully, this minus B plus B, minus C plus C and minus A plus A. Oh, all of these when added together will cancel out each other. Okay, so in the LHS, in the LHS, I have determinant of A minus B, B minus C, C minus A, B minus C, C minus A, A minus B, C minus A, A minus B, B minus C. That's what you have, right? And I can replace this column. Use the transformation. Use transformation. That C1 can be replaced by C1 plus C2 plus C3. Oh, you're adding all of them together. Yes, I'm adding all of them together. And this gives me LHS is equal to what? This will be equal to A minus B plus. Just a minute. This is minus, not plus. 
a minus b plus b minus c plus c minus a okay the next row will be b minus c plus c minus a plus a minus b can you observe that right and the next one will be c minus a plus a minus b plus b minus c the second column will be same b minus c c minus a a minus b the third column will remain same that's a c minus a a minus b b minus c right and b minus c okay and what else this is what you have right this is what you have that's a determinant that you have what's the first column equal to if you observe this b minus b c minus c a minus a will get cancelled this will get cancelled this will get cancelled okay 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 and this particular column will become zero 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 you have a b minus c c minus a a minus b c minus a a minus b b minus c over here and if all elements of a particular column are zero the value of determinant will be obviously zero which is equal to the rhs and yes that's a complete proof of this question as you can see behind me so that all that's all in this question let's move on to the next one after this this what does the question say using property we are supposed to prove that this determinant is equal to zero now what are we supposed to do in this one let's take a look at the question hmm. 2 7 and 65 3 8 and 75 5 9 and 86 okay these seem to be related with each other in some manner in some manner now what is this 7 is close to 65 is close to the ninth multiple of 7 right 75 is close to the ninth multiple 9 times 8 is 72 9 times 9 is 81 right this is all of these are close to the ninth multiple of something so can i say that in the lhs in the lhs you have 2 3 5 7 8 9 65 75 and 86 for even for finding the value i will have to reduce these values somehow and when i observe that these numbers are close to the ninth multiples of these i can replace c3 by c3 minus 9 times c2 yes i can reduce c3 by something can i do that yes using this this will give me this will give me lhs will be equal to what this will give me lhs will be equal to 2 3 5 is okay 7 8 9 is also okay and you have c3 minus 9 times this 9 times 7 is 63 65 minus 63 is 2 75 Minus nine times eight. Nine times eight is seventy-two, which is simply seventy-five minus seventy-two, which is three. Okay, and nine times nine is eighty-one. Eighty-six minus eighty-one is simply five. Observe, observe that since C one and C three are equal, will have this determinant will be equal to zero. The value of determinant will be equal to zero, and yes, this is my RHS. It is proved. You observe that C1 and C3 come out to be equal. Therefore, the value of this determinant is zero. That's all in this question. Let's move on to the next one. Using properties, we are supposed to prove that this is equal to this. How do we do that? Using properties of determinants and without expanding. Okay, let's take a look at this question. The things that we have are A, B, A, C. That's what we have, right? Okay, in the LHS. So LHS is one, one, one. B C C A A B and I would like to write this properly by expanding right by multiplying with it. This is A B plus A C. This is B C plus B A and this is C A plus C B. Okay. Do you observe? Do you observe that this is A B plus A C and if I add a B C over here, A B B C C A. That's what only we are having. Then you have A B B C and if you add this, this will be C A, right? You have A B. Plus B C plus C A. If you add this together, okay, I can add them together. Yes, I can add the C three. I can add C three and C two and replace that by C three. Right? This is what you'll have. This is one one one, which is okay. This is B C C A A B. Now, what's the benefit of adding? Please first add this. This A B plus B C plus C A and the next term would be again A B plus B C plus C A. The next term would be A B plus B C plus C A again. Yes, yes. And now, if you observe, I can take out this particular factor from this column altogether. So, taking next step is taking A B plus B C plus C A common from the C three, common from 
column 3. What do we get? This gives me LHS is equal to just a moment, LHS will be equal to, you will have taken something common. So let's write that first. This is AB plus BC plus CA. And what do you have is 111 in the first column. Then you have BC, CA, AB. And you have 111 in the last column, right? This is what you have. If column 1 and column 3 are exactly same, then the value of determinant will be 0. Yes, since C1 and C3 are exactly same. C1 and C3 are identical. Yes, this is what you have. And yes, this is equal to the RHS. That's what we wanted to prove. That's the complete proof of this question over here. Is that all? Yes, that's all in this question. Let's discuss this question in front of us. The question says using properties of determinants and without expanding in exercises 1, 2, 7. Prove that. We are supposed to prove this. Is equal to this. Okay. Now, this is a big determinant on the left-hand side. And what you have on the right-hand side is a pretty simple determinant. You have B plus C, C plus A, A plus B, Q plus R, R plus P, P plus Q, P, Q, R over here. And then you have Y, Z, X and X, Y, Z over here. Now, how do we go about solving this one? Right. Pretty interesting. Let's observe. Let's observe. In the LHS, we have a big determinant. B plus C, C plus A, A plus B. That's the first thing. And if you observe, if you observe, in this right-hand side, you have a A over here, B over here and a C over here. Okay. There's no A over here. We'll have to bring A over here in the first row somehow. And where the, can we get A? We get A in this and this columns, right? So let's use that idea. This is Q plus R. This is R plus P. This is P plus Q. This is Y plus Z. This is Z plus X. And this is X plus Y. The idea that I want to use is simple. I will bring this A over here, but I have to get rid of this B and C as well. Okay, subtract this C, subtract this B as well. So, the row 1 can be replaced by R1 minus R2 minus R3. This is the transformation that I'll use. This R1 can be replaced by R1 minus R2 minus R3. And with the help of this, what do I get? I get B plus C minus C minus A minus B minus A. So, B and C will get cancelled. What will remain is minus A minus A, which is minus 2A. In the LHS, the first term that will remain is minus 2A. Okay. C plus A, A plus B will remain as it is. What about the second column? What will happen over here? This minus this minus this. Once again, Q minus Q, R minus R will get cancelled. Minus P minus P will give me minus 2P. And similarly over here, Y and Z will get cancelled. What you'll get is minus 2X. And yes, do we get a matching APX, APX in the first row yes we get a matching apx apx in the first row what else the second row remains as it is r plus p z plus x and p plus q x plus y okay what else what else do you observe that you can take a minus 2 common from this row altogether yes i can do that let's take a minus 2 common from this row and this is a c plus a a plus b this is P, R plus P, Q plus P is what I have. P plus Q or Q plus P. Then you have a X, Z plus X and X plus Y over here. Okay. The first target on the right hand side, we have APX. We have obtained that. The next we need B, Q, Y over here. Okay. There's no B over here. But there's a B, Q, Y over here. We can subtract this R3 and R1. So R3 can be replaced by R3 minus R1 to give me B, Q and Y. B, Q and Y. What about the CRZ? CRZ is present over here, yes. R2 can also be replaced by R2 minus R1 to give me minus 2 is okay. The first row remains as it is. R3 and R2 are modified on the basis of this. This is A, P, X. What do you have is C plus A minus A is C. R plus P minus P is R. Z plus X minus X is Z. A plus B minus A is B, Q plus P minus P is Q, and X plus Y minus X is Y. This is what you have. Right? This is what you have. And after this, after this, what next? What next? If you observe carefully, there's one small step which remains that is interchange of two rows, this and this. R2 and R3 can be interchanged, and what impact will that have on the value of determinant? The value of determinant becomes negative. So there will be an extra minus introduced by interchanging, by interchanging. R2 and R3. This interchange 
will introduce an extra minus. This minus will become plus 2 times A, P, X, B, Q, Y, C, R, Z. This is what you have. And observe, is this the RHS? Yes, that's the direction in which we wanted to move. We were moving in that direction. This is the RHS and hence proved. That's the solution of this complete question over here. Is that all? Yes, that's all in this question. Moving on to the next one now. The next question says that you have 0a minus b minus a 0 minus c b c 0 and you have to prove that this is equal to 0. Now how do we go about proving this one? Let's take a look at this. This determinant on the left hand side. What do you have? Let delta is equal to 0 a minus b minus a 0 minus c b c 0. Okay, this is delta is equal to this. Now, what is delta? If you observe, there's not much you can do. This is A minus B minus A0 minus C B C0. What you can observe is this is a determinant. This is a determinant of a skew symmetric matrix. Can you please observe that? Yes, this is a determinant of a skew symmetric matrix. And we remember one thing from our properties that determinant of a skew symmetric matrix of odd order is simply zero. It's gonna prove that exactly that over here. Now, if delta is this, what is delta transpose equal to? Please observe. Let's find delta transpose first. Delta transpose will be transpose of this. Okay. And what will that be equal to? That will be 0a minus b minus a 0 minus c. Okay. And b c 0. This is what you have. Can you observe this carefully? Yes. This is what you have. This is a transpose and once you have obtained this transpose, do you observe that there as we compare this with and this, we observe that 0 minus a and b in the first column we have 0 a and minus b. We have extra minus over here, we can take that minus out. Similarly, here we have an extra minus, we can take that out and here we have a less minus, let's take that out as well. We'll What we'll get is, what we'll get is minus 1 from here in this column, minus 1 from this column and minus 1 from this column will give me 0 minus a b a 0 c and minus if you have want to take minus common from here what you will get is this is actually imagine this b as minus 1 square times b what is minus 1 square that is simply minus 1 right so you have taken a minus 1 common or indirectly what you can say if you want to take a minus 1 common what you will have to do is you will have to divide by minus 1 so b upon minus 1 is minus b c upon minus 1 is minus c and this is 0 observe observe delta transpose is also equal to delta delta transpose is also equal to delta and this is minus 1 power 3 which is minus 1 what is this determinant equal to 0 a minus b minus a 0 minus c b c 0 this is same as delta okay so delta is equal to minus delta this will give me 2 delta is equal to 0 or we can observe that delta is simply equal to 0 this is what we wanted to prove this is what we wanted to prove that delta equal to 0. Delta is that determinant that equal to 0. That is a complete proof of this. Once again, skew, the determinant of a skew symmetric matrix of odd order. Determinant of skew symmetric matrix of odd order is simply 0. Remember that. Moving on to the next question. This is the next one. Seventh. Minus a square a b a c b a. This is b square and this is c square. Okay, let's make that correction over here. This is b square and this is c square with a minus obviously. This is a square over here, right? Let's make that correction. Let's not make that mistake. This is minus. Okay, this is minus c square minus b square over there. And this is 4a square b square c square. Okay, and how do we prove this one? Let's see. Let's see. In the LHS, what do you have? In the LHS, the determinant that we have, let me rewrite it. So the, these corrections are clearly visible. We have minus a square b a c a. Oh, there are plenty of a's over here. Then you have a b minus b square c b over here. Yes. Then you have a c b c and minus c square. So there are plenty of a's, there are plenty of b's and there are plenty of c's in this as you can observe. Yes, that's what we have. Okay, so what are we supposed to do over here? Do you observe that, 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 that? We can take out a, a common from here. We can take out a, a B common from here 
and if you can take out a C carbon from here, what you'll have is on the LHS you'll have ABC in the left hand side. You'll have so in the LHS you have ABC outside the determinant and what remains is minus A, B, C. Okay. Then you have taken out B common, this will be A minus B, and you'll have C over here. From here you have taken out a C, what will remain is A B minus C. Yes. What next? So for the next one, you can observe that this all of these terms contain a, a all of these terms contain b all of these terms contain c so from the first row you can take out a, a common from the second row you can take out a b common and from the third row you can take out a c common yes we are moving in that direction of a square b square c square yes let's do that taking out common a this will become a square b square c square and what will remain is minus 1 1 1 1 minus 1 1 1 1 minus 1 this is what will remain what next? We are supposed to find the value of this? Yes, we are supposed to find the value of this. But once again, using properties. Let's go ahead. This gives me LHS is okay. A square, B square, C square is okay. And do we observe that there's a minus one, there's a one and one. So I can replace R1 by R1 plus R2 plus R3 to give me something. What will that be? Please observe. Minus one plus one will become zero. There'll be a one. One minus one will become zero. There is a one. One plus one minus one will be again a one. So in the first row, you'll have one, one, and one remaining. Okay. But uh, that will be extra one. Let's try to create some zeros. We haven't created any zeros yet. yet. So if you want to create any zeros, what we can do is alternatively, alternatively, I have another idea that I can share. And we can create some zeros over here. By not doing, not adding R3 along with this, let's add R1 and R2 only. Let's add R1 and R2 only and what will remain is this. Minus 1 plus 1 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0, there are zeros. 1 plus 1 is 2, okay, that's a problem, but never mind. The remaining things, what else? What about the remaining things? Can you please observe that you'll have 1 minus 1, 1 and 1, 1 minus 1 remaining over here. Right. If you want, you can expand very easily along this row over here. But before that, can we create more zeros? Yes, we can create some more zeros. Let's add, let's replace R2 by R2 plus R3. And what we'll have is A square, B square, C square, 0, 0, 2. This will become 2, 0, 0, and 1, 1, minus 1. This is what remains, right? And now you can easily find this value, A square, B square, C square, the value of this determinant will be equal to what? The value of this determinant will be 2 times, 2 times this. 2 into 1 minus 1 into 0, which is 2 times 2, which is equal to 4 times A square, B square, C square. And yes, this is my RHS over here. This is what we wanted to prove. Hence, proved. Right, that's the complete solution of this question, as you can see behind me. Is that all? Yes, that's all in this question. Let's discuss this next question that is that says by using properties of determinants in exercise 8 to, 8 to 14 show that this determinant is equal to this determinant okay, this value okay and how are we supposed to use the properties in this one let's see let's see the way in which we can handle this one so left hand side and mind you one more thing that the questions which will be following following means the question starting from this one and a few more will be very important because the values of these determinants, these determinants are something that you should memorize for easy calculations in future, right? So 1a a square, 1b b square, 1c c square. If you see this determinant, the value is a minus b times b minus c times c minus a. Similarly, 1a a cube, if you see something of that sort, the value will be something different. If you have 1a b c, 1b c a, 1c a b, then the value is exactly same once again. And how do we obtain those values will be see exactly that. Let's see, let's see. In the LHS, you have 1 A, A square, 1 B, B square, 1 C, C square. This is the determinant that we have, right? That's the determinant that we have. What can we do in this one? What we can observe is there are two ones, there are three ones in this particular column. So let's replace, let's replace R1 by R1 minus R2. And we can also replace R2 by R2 minus R3. Okay, and on replacing this, the LHS becomes equal to what? This will be 1 minus 1, which is 0. This is A minus B. This will become A square minus B square. Then you have R2 minus R3, which will become 0. B minus C, 
b square minus c square and 1 c c square. This is what you have. Right? This is what you have. Observe carefully. In a square minus b square, you have a minus b and a plus b. Yes, I can take out a minus b common in this complete row. This will give me a minus b. And similarly, in b square minus c square, you have a b plus c and b minus c. I can take out a b minus c common from here. And what will remain is 0, 0, 1 over here. Then you have a minus b, b minus c, which I have moved out. So there will be 1, 1 and c remaining over here. a minus b has gone. a plus b will remain. b plus c will remain at c square. a plus b, b plus c and c square. That will remain. And now it is very easy to expand. We can expand along this first column and what we get is 1 times this minus this. What is that? B plus C minus A minus B is what you get. That's all. Yes, that's all. B and B will get cancelled. This is A minus B, B minus C and C minus A, which is the RHS. That's the complete proof of this one. You also need to remember this one, right? Okay, we'll memorize this. Yes, we'll memorize this once you approve this one. Right. Let's move on to the next question. 1 A A cube, 1 B B cube, 1 C C cube is A minus B, B minus C, C minus C and another factor over here that is A plus B plus C. Let's memorize this one as well. But first, proof. What's the proof? Let's take a look at the proof. In the LHS, you have a determinant which looks complicated. 1 A, A power 3, 1 B, B power 3, 1 C, C power 3. But you may have gathered some idea from the just previous question. That since there are 1, 1, 1 over here, what we can do is we can subtract these ones, right? So C1 can be replaced by C1 minus C2 and C2 can be replaced by C2 minus C3 simultaneously, right? We can apply this transformation to get 1 minus 1 is 0, A minus B over here and A cube minus B cube over here. Yes. Then you have 1 minus 1, 0, B minus C over here and B cube minus C cube over here. Then you have a 1 C and C power 3 over here. That's what you have. From the first column, you can take out A minus B common. And if you observe, what is A cube minus B cube equal to? Let's recall. A cube minus B cube is equal to, factorize it, A minus B and A square plus AB plus B square. That's what you get. Can you observe that? Yes. So, on taking out common, on taking out common, what you have observe is A minus B, B minus C will come out common and the remaining determinant will be equal to 0, 1 and then you have A square plus AB plus B square. Then you have 0, 1 and B cube minus C cube which is B square plus BC plus C square. Okay. And then you have a 1, C, C power 3. Yes, this is what you have. Is that okay? Yes, that's okay. What else? The next thing that I can do is, I can simply expand along this first row. Is there any other way to simplify it further? If you observe, there's an A square, A, B, B square, B square, B, C, C square. At max, you can subtract these two and get, you can get rid of one B square. But that's the end of it. That's the end of it. That's all that you can do. Oh, but you have a 1, 1. Let's subtract them together. We can subtract them, but that is what we'll be doing when we expand along this row. This minus this ad minus bc so let's get that done a minus b times b minus c and expand along this will be ad minus bc and this will be equal to b square plus bc plus c square this minus this a square ab b square this is what you will get this is what you will get so a minus b is okay b minus c is okay And what will remain over here is, observe B square will get cancelled, right? What else? What else? BC plus C square, no. BC and AB are important, right? Let's focus on that. BC and AB, you can take out a B common, what you get is C minus A. BC and AB, BC minus AB. Plus C square minus A square remains, right? This is what remains. Do you observe that there's a C plus A and C minus A over here? There's a C minus A over here, we can take out C minus A common. C minus A will come on common and what will remain is B plus, this will be a C plus A and do you observe that? Yes, this is equal to the RHS. That's a complete proof of this question over there. Is that all? Yes. We'll memorize this. Yes, we'll memorize this. Let's move on to the next one after this. Let's discuss this question in front of us next. 
the question says x x square y z y y square z x z z square x y is equal to x minus y y minus z is z minus x times x y plus y z plus z x. Now this is an interesting variety and uh, let's see how we'll be approaching this question. We'll begin with the LHS and in the LHS what we have? Do we have any ones as we had in the previous few questions? No, we do not have any ones which can be ca converted into zeros easily. No, we do not have any of those things. What else? What else? You have x, x square, y, z. Then you have y, y square, z, x. And you have z, z square, x, y. Okay. So, the first row is x, y, z. Then you have x square, y square, z, x, z square. But you have y, z, z, x, x, y. You, you seem, to, can you please observe that there's an x missing, y missing and z missing. If you give x, y and z to these elements, then you'll get x, y, z, x, y, z, x, y, z over here, right? Similar terms over here. And then it will be possible to subtract maybe, create some zeros, right? So let's do that. What are we wanting to do? We simply want to multiply this by x. Oh, oh, oh. We want to introduce x over here. So let's multiply this with x. Let's multiply this with y. Let's multiply this with z. Okay. So we are multiplying the determinant by the product x, y, z. Yes, we are multiplying the product x, y, z. We'll divide with x, y, z as well. What we'll get is x square x power 3 x y z. Then you have y square y power 3 x y z. z square z power 3 x y z. This is what we have right in the product over here. Observe that in the column 3 in the third column you have x y z. You can take out x y z common from here. And that will come over here and this will get cancelled with this xyz in the denominator, yes. So this will be equal to xyz over xyz times x square x power 3, y square y power 3, z square z power 3 and then you have a 1 1 1 over here. This is what you have, right. This, this will get cancelled, right. And since we have created 1 1 1 over here, now the question becomes very simple. What are we supposed to do? We are supposed to subtract and create some zeros. Let's uh, subtract R1 can be replaced by R1 minus R2 and R2 can be replaced by R2 minus R3. And what will this give us? Let's take a look at this. This will be equal to x square minus y square. Okay. x power 3 minus y power 3 and a 0 over here. Then you have y square minus z square y power 3 minus z power 3 and a 0 since r2 minus r3 and r3 will remain as it is z square z power 3 and this remains as it is this remains as it is this is what you get next once you have reached this stage can you observe that you can take out something common from the first row x square minus y square has a factor of x minus y x cube minus y cube also has a factor of x minus y and 0 0 also has a factor of x minus y Similarly, in the second row, you have y minus z and y minus z. The factors will come out common. What will remain is x minus y, y minus z times the determinant, this. Observe the determinant carefully. x plus y will remain over here. y plus z will remain over here. And this is z square. That will remain as it is. Then you have x minus y since it has gone out the remaining factor will be x square plus x y plus y square here you'll have y square plus y z plus z square here you'll have z power 3 0 0 and 1 that remains as it is yes what else now what next can be done over here one thing is we can expand along this column and multiply these two and multiply these two and subtract them but if you may observe this is 2 times 3 which is actually 6 terms and then you have subtraction also. In subtraction also you will have 6 terms. Obviously some terms will get cancelled. But that will still be very long, yes. So can we simplify it further? Yes, I can apply one more idea. What is that? Let's subtract these two and the y square will get cancelled, the y will get cancelled and yes we will be getting something easier. So R2 can be replaced with R2 minus R1. Now why did you do R2 minus R1? Why not R1 minus R2? We could have done that as well. But then if you observe, the term that will get on R2 minus R1, doing R2 minus R1 is Z minus X. And that's something which you are interested in, right? 
So let's use that. On applying this, you have x minus y is already there. Y minus z is also there. Next. The first row remains as it is. This is x plus y. And this is x square plus xy plus y square. This is a 0. The second row is modified now. What is the second row? What happens to the second row? Second row becomes y plus z minus y minus x, which is z minus x. Okay. This y square and this y square will get cancelled. y square plus yz plus z square. This is it. And what you get is yz plus z square minus x square minus xy. There is a 0 over here. 0 minus 0 is still 0. The third row remains as it is. This is z square, z power 3 and 1. Is that okay? Yes. Observe carefully. This particular term can be further simplified. Z square minus x square. And if you observe yz minus xy, you can take out a yz minus xy. You can take out a y common, you get a z minus x. You also have a z minus x, z plus x over there. You can take out a z minus x common. Yes. And there's a z minus x common over here. So what you will get after taking out this? Z minus x common is this determinant. Let's focus on this properly now. This is x plus y. Okay. This is x square plus xy plus y square. And there's a 0 over here. This becomes 1. So z minus x has been brought out. Then you have yz minus xy. What you observe is y times z minus x was there. y will remain and z minus x has gone. This is z square minus x square. z minus x has gone. This will remain z plus x x plus z you can write it as this the last term will be 0 only and z square z power 3 1 that's what you'll have over here okay what else what else now if you observe that expansion along this column becomes very simple this times this minus this that becomes simpler and we can do that let's see where does that take us over here let me erase this one Okay, and uh, once I erase this one, a few more steps remain. Few more steps, yes, a few steps. That's one step of simplification actually remains. And what is that step of simplification? This gives me LHS is equal to x minus y times y minus z times z minus x, something that I've already obtained in the product. Other than that, what I'll get is expansion along this column will give me this times this minus this, okay? That will be a bigger bracket and you have x plus y times x plus y plus z minus 1 times this bracket x square plus x square plus y square. This is what you have. Is that okay? Yes. So x minus y is done. Okay. Y minus z is done. Z minus x is done. And uh, in the product you have, let's multiply them together, x square plus xy plus xz. Observe, this is what you have. x times x is x square, xy, xz. Then you have yx plus y square plus yz. And minus x square minus xy minus y square is what you have over here. Let's cancel the terms that can be cancelled. x square goes with x square and y square goes with y square. This is minus xy and this is plus xy. They will get cancelled and the terms that will remain is x minus y is okay. y minus z, z minus x times another bracket. What will that bracket have? xy, xz and yz. So this is xy plus yz plus xz can be written as zx. And yes, this is the RHS of this expression. This is the RHS of this expression. That's the final result. That's what you obtain. Is that okay? Yes. One particular thing that I would like to bring to your notice is that this is also an important, important circulant. You call it important circulant. X, X square, Y, Z, Y, Y square, Z square, Z, Z square, X, Y. But this is, I don't want you to remember in this form. This RHS is also equal to, can you please observe that in the middle, we, obs we had this determinant. At one stage, we reached this determinant. And uh, do I want to remember this one directly? No. I want to remember it in another form. What is that? I want you to remember in this form. That 
वन एक्स स्क्वायर एक्स पावर थ्री वन वाई स्क्वायर वाई पावर थ्री वन जेड स्क्वायर जेड पावर थ्री दिस डिटर्मिनेंट इज इक्वल टू दिस वैल्यू ओह वेर डिड यू गेट दैट फ्रॉम वट आव डन इज एब्सिम्पली इंटरचेंजेस दीज टू इंटरचेंज दीज टू वन सो वन विल कम ओवर एयर एक्स स्क्वायर विल गो ओवर देयर बट द वैल्यू ऑफ डिटर्मिनेंट विल बी चेंज बाय नेगेटिव चेंज इन साइन ओनली then i make another another interchange of x square and x power 3 and i get this okay so another minus introduced will give me the same determinant so this and this are exactly same and therefore the proof right so 1 x square x power 3 1 y square y power 3 and z square z power 3 is equal to x minus y y minus z z minus x times x square plus y z plus z x right this is something which you can memorize moving on to the next one after this 10th part 1 says that by using properties of determinants you are supposed to show this is equal to this now on observation on observation what i see is i have a 5x plus 4 okay and where do i get this 5x plus 4 from you observe this is 2x 2x x plus 4 2x 2x x plus 4 2x 2x x plus 4 let's add them together okay so that's the first step that's the first step that comes to the mind in the lhs i have x plus 4 2x 2x Then you have a two x x plus four, two x, two x, two x x plus four. And what I want to do is I want to add all the rows. So R one is replaced by R one plus R two plus R three, which will give me a factor of five x plus four. That's what I desire, right? So this will be equal to x plus two x plus two x is five x plus four is already there. Then you have five x plus four here as well. Another five x plus four will be here. This is what I have. What else? Two x will remain. Okay, two x will remain. Then you have x plus four as it is. Two x, two x, and x plus four over here. Can you take out a five x plus four common from the first row? Yes. Let's do that. And what remains is one, one, one over here. Okay. The second row will be two x x plus four and two x. Then you have two x two x x plus four. Now observe. What else do we want over here? We want another factor of four minus x for somehow. We have to subtract ones. That's something which you can observe from here. But which ones have to be subtracted? If you observe four minus x is what I want. So x plus four minus this will give me. 4 plus x minus 2x would be 4 minus x, right? Similarly, this minus this will give me this, right? So I'll subtract R1 from R2 and R3 both. So what I'll do is R2 replaced by R2 minus R1, and R3 can also be replaced by R3 minus R1, giving me 5x plus 4 is okay in the LHS times 1, 2x and 2x is okay. 1 minus 1 is 0. X plus 4 minus 2x is 4 minus x. 2x minus 2x is simply zero. Okay. Then you have 1 minus 1, which is zero, and 2x minus 2x is zero. X plus 4 minus 2x is 4 minus x is what I get. And can you expand along the first row very easily now? Yes. This one times this into this minus zero is what you get. 5x plus 4 times one times 4 minus x. 4 minus x is 4 minus x whole square. Oh, this is what you wanted to prove. Yes, this is what you wanted to prove. That's the complete proof of this question. That was pretty simple. Yes, that was pretty simple. Let's move on to the next one. This tenth part two. How do we go about attempting this one? Let's take a look at this question. So y plus k, y y, y y plus k, y y y y plus k. Okay, and you have k square times three y plus k. So three y plus k can be obtained very easily by adding them, adding them, adding them. Okay, let's add them. R one. Can be replaced with in the LHS. R1 can be replaced with R1 plus R2 plus R3. This will give me LHS becomes equal to 3y plus k. The first row will become 3y plus k. Adding these three will be 3y plus k and 3y plus k. Then you have y, y, y plus k, y. Let me write it. Y plus k. This is y plus k. Then you have a y and a y plus k over here. 
Can you take out something common? Yes, I can take out 3 by plus k common from the first row. What remains is 1, y, y. 1, y plus k, y. 1, y, y plus k. This is what you have. And now since we have a lot of 1s, let's subtract them. What to do? We can simply replace C3 by C3 minus C1. And C2 can be replaced as C2 minus C1. That's what I can do. Yes. What will remain is, this will give me 3y plus k is okay. And the subtraction will give me 1yy y as it is. And this minus this will be 0. And this will give me a k and this will be 0. 0k0. Zero, zero. Then you will have a 0, 0, k over here. Okay. And let's multiply them together by expanding along the first row. 1 times k, k. This is what you'll be getting. So, k square times 3y plus k is, a what I, is what I get at the end. And yes, that's equal to the RHS. That's a complete proof of this one over here. Is that all? Yes, that's all in this question. Let's move on to the next one. This 11th part one. What does it say? A minus B minus C, then you have a 2A, you have a 2A again, then you have a 2B, B minus C minus A, 2B, 2C, 2C, C minus A minus B, and you want to prove it equal to A plus B plus C whole cube. What are we supposed to do in this one? Let's begin by thinking in this terms that we are supposed to create A plus B plus C somehow, right? We are supposed to create A plus B plus C somehow. And if you observe there's a 2A, there's a 2B, there's a minus A minus B, I can add them together and what I'll get is C plus A plus B, right? Similarly, a C plus A plus B. Similarly, a C plus A plus B. I can add these columns together. So, R1 can be replaced by R1 plus R2 plus R3. I have to add them together, right? I have to add them together. That's what you're supposed to do. So, therefore, LHS, in the LHS, I'm doing this. So, LHS becomes equal to what? This will be A minus B minus C plus 2B plus 2C, which will become A plus B plus C. Okay, this will be 2A minus A, 2C minus C is C. This will again become A plus B plus C. This will also become A plus B plus C. And this will be the determinant, the huge determinant. Okay, the next two rows will be 2B, 2C, B minus C minus A, 2C. 2B, C minus A minus B. And I can take out A plus B plus C, the term, the factor of A plus B plus C common from the first row. 1, 2B, 2C remains, okay. You have another 1 over here. And you have B minus C minus A. You have a 2C over here. You have 1 over here. You have 2B over here. C minus A minus B over here. And this is the determinant. What next? Okay. So we'll have to subtract something more, right? Since we have a lot of 1s over here, Let's subtract once more and see where does that take us. We have A plus B plus C. And what I want to do is I want to subtract this one from this one. Right? So 1, 2B, 2C remains as it is. 1 minus 1 will become 0. B minus C minus A minus 2B. Now B minus 2B will be minus B. You already have a minus A, minus C and you'll also have minus B. 2C minus 2C is simply 0. Right? Then you have 1 minus 1 again 0. 2B minus 2B is 0. And C minus A minus B will minus 2C will become minus C minus A minus B minus C. This is what you'll get. Right? And once you reach this stage, this is using using C2 replaced by C2 minus C1. C3 replaced by C3 minus C1. That's what we have done. And once you reach this stage, I can simply expand. Therefore, LHS becomes equal to A plus B plus C is okay. Expansion along this will be 1 times this times this. That's what you get. So, in the other bracket, what you'll have is 1 times, okay, minus A minus B minus C times minus A minus B minus C. This is what you get. This is what you get. If you observe, this is A plus B plus C, which is okay. You can take out a minus. These are all in product, right? Take out a minus from here. Take out a minus from here. Minus times minus will become plus. And what will remain is a, a plus B plus C over here. A plus B plus C over here. Yes, which is equal to A plus B plus C whole power 3. This is my RHS as you can see over here. That's the solution of this. 
complete solution yes that's all that's all in this question let's take a look at this one next x plus y plus 2z okay then you have a zz x y plus z 2x x y y z plus x 2y and if you observe i need this x plus y plus z the factor of x plus y plus z somehow now where can i create that factor from if you see this column what you'll have is x plus y plus 4z if you add them if you subtract what you'll have is x plus y only that will be difficult observe in this direction x plus y plus x plus y will become 2x 2y and there's a 2z already there similarly in this one what you'll have is 2y 2z 2x in this one you'll have 2z 2x 2y and you can take out a factor of two times x plus y plus z common from there and on the basis of that yes i can attempt this question the left hand side in the left hand side what i'm doing is c1 is replaced by c1 plus c2 plus c3 that's what you're doing right now what will this give us is observe carefully in the lhs you'll get 2x plus 2y plus 2z adding them together the second element over here in column one would be y plus z plus y plus z is 2y plus 2z plus 2x as well similar thing over here is 2z plus 2x plus 2y observe this carefully right this is what you get and uh, yes this is useful the second column would be x y plus z plus 2x and x then you have y y and z plus x plus 2y this is what you get what next can we take out a two times x plus y plus z common from here yes you have a one one and one over here what else you have a x then you have a y plus z plus 2x then you have a x you have a y you have a y z plus x plus 2y this is what you have okay what else the next step what will the next step tell me the next step will be to subtract these ones to create some zeros let's do that we can replace r2 by r2 minus r1 yes this minus this and similarly r3 can be replaced by r3 minus r1 and this will give me in the lhs you have two times x plus y plus z determinant will be the first row will remain as it is 1 x y the second row here will become 0 y plus z plus 2 x minus x will become y plus z plus x then you have a y minus y which is 0 the third row this minus this will become 1 minus 1 0 x minus x 0 and 0 and 2y minus y will be y z plus x plus y now if you expand along this column what you get is one times this times this which is x plus y plus z x plus y plus z multiplied together will be x plus y plus z whole square there's a two there's a x plus y plus z already present over here two more x plus y plus z and this will become x plus y plus z whole power three and yes this is my rhs as you can clearly observe that's a complete proof of this question let's move on to the next one after this by using properties we are supposed to prove that this lhs is equal to this rhs 1 minus x cube whole power 2 now how do we go about doing that let's take a look at this we have 1 minus x whole power 3 1 minus x power 3 actually and then there is a square also there now how do we go about handling this one if you observe carefully if you observe carefully there's no x cube term as such but 1 minus x cube is actually equal to 1 minus x times 1 plus x plus x square is it not yes so imagine this 1 minus x cube as this and yes this is useful since you have 1 x and x square everywhere right this is useful so the lhs can be simplified as this is 1 x square x this is x 1 x square this is x square x 1 i can add rows and columns together and maybe simplify this somehow what i'll have is please observe c1 can be replaced with c1 plus c2 plus c3 and this will give me 1 plus x plus x square okay similarly x square plus 1 plus x is 1 plus x plus x square and 1 plus x plus x square then you have x1 x square 
x square x1 this is what you have right or not yes okay can you take out a 1 plus x plus x square common you have 1 1 1 remaining over here yes what else you have x1 and x square remaining you have x square x and 1 remaining over here is that okay yes after this let's try to create some zeros by subtracting these ones and what do we observe what i can do is r1 or uh, for that matter what you can do is yeah let's subtract r1 or uh, precisely r2 can be written as r2 minus r1 subtract r1 from r2 and subtract r1 from r3 as well okay and where will that take us this will give me 1 plus x plus x square will remain as it is in the determinant you have 1 x and x square the first row remains as it is 1 minus 1 will become 0 this will become 1 minus x and you will get x minus x square over here this will remain what else you this will become 0 x square minus x will remain here you'll have 1 minus x square and yes this is what you have what next If you observe carefully, there's a 1 minus x over here. And if you observe, this is x minus x square. You can take out x common over here and you'll get 1 minus x. So what I can do is I have a 1 minus x. I have another 1 minus x over here that can be brought out. Yes. 1 plus x plus x square times 1 minus x. Okay. And the determinant that I'll get is 1, 0, 0, which is okay. x, which is okay. And 1 minus x has gone out. This will be 1. x square is okay. 1 minus x has gone out, this will be a x, simply a x, right? The third row, can you observe the third row? A similar thing happens over here. This has 1 plus x and 1 minus x, yes. This has x times x minus 1. Now, x minus 1 and 1 minus x only different in a minus, right? So, I can take out 1 minus x and 1 minus x common from here as well. And what will remain is, this is minus of 1 minus x, right? So minus of x actually remains over here. And here you'll get 1 minus x has gone, 1 plus x will remain over here. Okay. Now we can expand easily along this column. We get 1 times 1 plus x minus of minus will become plus x square. So 1 plus x plus x square is what we'll get. This is 1 plus x plus x square. Okay. This is 1 minus x whole square. And the other term will be 1 plus x plus x square. Okay. So we are actually getting the same version of this 1 plus x plus x square whole square and 1 minus x whole square can be simplified using this and this will be nothing but 1 minus x cube whole square that's the RHS as you can clearly observe over here. That's all for this question. Let's move on to the next one after this. This one. 13th says 1 plus a square minus b square then you have a 2ab minus b. You have a 2 a b 1 minus a square minus plus b square 2 a 2 b minus 2 a 1 minus a square minus b square and then this is another thing that you have over here. What can we do over here? Let's take a look at this. We have 1 plus a square plus b square in the RHS but then do we observe any such term coming out in the LHS? Common? No, we don't observe any such term. There is a 1 plus a square and a minus b square. Then there is another thing. There is another thing. Okay, there are no a squares b squares that can be simplified. There are actually 2 a b and 2 b. So can we create something called a square and b square in the LHS somehow using some idea? Okay. What I observe is there are two b's over here. There are two a's over here. But there are two b. No, there's no a and b common over here. So probably what I can do is I can take out a b common from here. Maybe take out a a common from here. And then, and then what do I want to do? I want to do one more thing. What is that? Once I take out a B common, once I take out a E common, I want to give them back. But then I don't want to give them back in the same rows, in the same columns. I take out a B common from here and I want to give it back to the first row. How will that impact us? Let's take a look at that. So the LHS, let me write the LHS. Take out a B common from the first column, take out a A column, common from the second column and you have a A, B. What remains is 1 plus A square minus B square. There's no B over here. But you took out a B common, right? That's what what would remain. There's a 2A and there's a 2 remaining over here. Since you took out a B common, right? You took out a A common from here. So this will be 2B. And okay, there was nothing over here. This is, 
You took out a common, right? A will come in the denominator. And you took out a common, this is minus 2. What else? You took out b and a common from the first column and the second column, the third column remains as it is. This remains as it is. What else? Now I have a 2, I have a a, I have a b. Let's multiply this b in the first row. Let's multiply this a in the second row. This will become 1 plus a square minus b square. Okay, this will become 2b square. This will become minus 2b square. And yes, this is what you'll have. Then this will become 2a square. This will become 1 minus a square plus b square. This will become 2a square. And this will become 2 minus 2 and 1 minus a square minus b square. Okay, okay, okay. Are we reaching somewhere? Yes, maybe. Let's see. Now, do you observe something called 1 plus a square plus b square forming somewhere? Do you see something of that sort forming somewhere? Yes, maybe. Let's take a look at this one. So, what you have is 2a square plus a square will be 3a square. Actually, you need to add b square somewhere. So, this 2 and minus 2, if you add them together, they will get become 0, right? And 2a square minus a square will become a square, 1 plus b square is already there. This 2b square minus b square will become a b square. Yes, you'll have 1 plus a square plus b square. Let's add them together. Let's add the first two columns together. What you get is 1 plus a square plus b square. Then you have a 1 plus a square plus b square and you have a 0. Yes, I have one term of 1 plus a square plus b square over here. Yes. Other than that, let's add these two together. You get a 0 over here. 1 minus a square plus 2a square will be 1 plus a square plus b square. Then minus 2 minus 1 will become minus 1 and you have a minus a square and a minus b square as well. Okay. So what I have done is I have added C3 to C2. What remains is this 2b square, 2a square and 1 minus a square minus b square. The steps that I have done over here is C1 is replaced by C1 plus C2 and C2 has been replaced by C2 plus C3. That's what you have done over here. Using this, this will give me can you take out a 1 plus a square plus b square common from here? Yes. Okay. The determinant that will remain is 1, 1, 0. Okay. You observe 0, 1 plus a square plus b square and minus of 1 plus a square plus b square. You can take out a 1 plus a square plus b square from here as well. Yes. This will be 0, this will be 1 and this will be minus 1. Okay. The third term will be minus 2b square, 2a square and 1 minus a square minus b square. This is what you have. Okay. Try to create a 1 plus a square plus b square again somehow. Okay. For that, we'll have to create some zeros somehow, right? Let's try to create some zeros somehow. And uh, what do I observe over here is this minus 1, if it is given to this 1, this will become a 0, right? Or not? Yes. Or you can add this over here and this will become 0. There's already a 0 over here and I can maybe expand along this column. One of the ways. Or I can create a 0 over here and then I can expand along this one. Maybe. Yes. Let's try to do that. Let's try to do that. This is 1 plus a square plus b square whole square. Then let's keep the first row as it is. And let's subtract this minus this. What will it become? 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. And 2a square minus minus 2b square will be 2 times a square plus b square. And this will be 0 minus 1. 1 minus a square minus b square is what we will get over here. Yes or no? Yes. Now expand along the first column. Expansion along the first column will give me this minus this times this. 1 plus a square plus b square and a whole square times 1 times 1 minus a square minus b square. And minus of minus will become plus. 2 times, what will this be equal to? This will be equal to, as you can observe, 2a square minus a square will be a square, 2b square minus b square will be b square, and therefore it will be equal to 1 plus a square plus b square. Whole power 3. 2 is already there, this will become whole power 3, and yes, that's a complete proof of this one over here. That's a complete solution of this question, yes. Moving on to the next one after this. 14th. What can we do in this one? a square plus 1, then you have a, b, a, c, a, b, b square plus 1, b, c, c, a, c, b, c square plus 1, and I want to create this one. Okay, can I create this one somehow? Yes. 
Oh, but we don't have a a square b square over here. No, we don't have that. But we can create that somehow, right? In the previous question, we saw an idea. Can we take out a a common from here? Yes. A b common and a c common. Yes. So LHS becomes equal to a b c have been taken out common. What remains is a square plus one upon a since a has been taken out common. This will be b. This will be c. Yes. B has come out common. This will be b square plus one upon b. This will be c. C has come out common. This will be a b and c square plus one over c. This is what you have, right? What else? Let's multiply this a in the first row, b in the second row, and c in the third row. You get a square plus one. Okay. Then you have another a square and a square. You get b square, b square plus one and b square. Then you have c square, c square, and c square plus one. Over here. Yes. And now, 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 you can add these rows to obtain this expression. So what I will do is, what I'll do is, I'll replace R1 with R1 plus R2 plus R3. And yes, this will be give me one plus a square plus b square plus c square. In the first row, throughout, throughout, all the elements in the first row. Let's take that out common. Let's take that element common. Okay. I'm taking one plus a square plus b square plus c square common. What will remain is one over here, yes, and b square c square over here. You'll get a one over here, a b square plus one and a c square over here. One over here, b square and c square plus one over here. Try to create some zeros somehow. What you can do is subtract this one, this one from this one, and from this one as well. So C two can be replaced by C two minus C one, and C three can also be replaced by C three minus C one. Yes, C one will remain as it is. One plus a square plus b square plus c square is okay. C one one b square c square remains as it is. Yes, one minus one will be zero. B square minus b square will be one. C square minus c square zero, and one minus one is zero. This is zero. C square will be this. What will be the value of this determinant? Expand along this one times. One one minus zero, which is one only, and yes, this is equal to one plus a square plus b square plus c square. Is that what you wanted? Yes, that's what we wanted. This is equal to the RHS. That's a complete proof of this question over here. Let's move on to the next one after this. Fifteenth, choose the correct answer in this. Let A be a square matrix of order three by three. Then K A determinant of K A is equal to. That's pretty simple. You remember the result. If you remember the result properly, then k times a is very simple to find. If you have matrix A as sorry determinant of A as a b c d e f g h i. If this is a matrix and this is a determinant corresponding, then you have a as this. What about k times a? K times a. The matrix will be equal to what? This is equal to each element is multiplied by k. K a, k b, k c. K D, K E, K F, K G, K H, K I, and in case of determinants, we know that K can be taken out common from any one row or any one column, right? So this row will give me a K, and what I'll get is A B C. This row will give me another K. What I'll get is D E F. This row will give me another K. This will give me G H I, and this becomes K cube times determinant of A. K cube times determinant of A. That is option C is correct. In general, in general, for a determinant of order n by n, for a matrix of order n by n, determinant of K A will be equal to K power n times determinant of A. Right? For a matrix of order n, this is what is true. Right? So for three by three, this is K cube times determinant of A, as we proved over here. Right? These elements A B C D E F G H I could be anything for any three by three. Matrix the determinant fall will follow this property, and that's true in this one. That's all in this question. Let's move on to the next one. Which of the following is correct? Let's take a look at the statements. Okay, determinant is a square matrix. No, no, no. Determinant is some value, right? It is found for a square matrix. Is a square matrix? No. Determinant is a number associated to a matrix. No, to a square matrix. Square is missing. This is issue. That's not correct. Determinant is a number associated to a square matrix. Yes, option C is correct in this 
question. That's the basic idea of determinant and that's all that is required in this question. Is that all? Yes, that's all for this question over here. And with this, we come to the conclusion of this exercise 4.2 from the chapter Determinants Class 12th NCRT Mathematics. I hope you have enjoyed attending all the solutions video over here with us. And yes, if you have done so, please like this video, share this video. Also, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel of Vyasa Edification for latest updates from the channel regularly. All the best.